Here is exam style question 1. A smooth bead B is threaded on a light and extensible string. The ends of the string are attached to two fixed points A and C on the same horizontal level. The bead is held in equilibrium by a horizontal force of magnitude 2 newtons acting parallel to CA. Find part A, the tension in the string, part B, the mass of the bead, and part C. State how you have used the modeling assumption that the bead is smooth in your calculation. Now, before I do A, B, and C, I'm going to label all the forces acting on this particular bead. Right, suppose that the mass of the bead is m, hence the weight is mg acting vertically downwards. This string is considered to be light, so we know that the tension is the same throughout the string. Tension acting in this direction, tension acting in this direction. For each of these tension forces, we can form component forces by constructing a right angle triangle. Here's my extension, here's my extension. Alternate angles are equal, so if this is 60, this is 60. If this is 30, this is 30. Drop a perpendicular. Drop a perpendicular. Put in the arrows. Put in the arrows. Adjacent, adjacent. So this one over here will be t cos 60. And this one over here will be t cos 30. Opposite. Opposite, this one over here is T sine 60. This one over here is T sine 30. Okay, so that there is the complete force diagram. In part A, we want to find the tension in the string. If we resolve horizontally, we'll have only one unknown, and that will be T. If we resolve vertically, we'll have two unknowns. That will be T and M. So to find the tension in the string, we need to resolve horizontally. Okay, so here is part A. Resolve horizontally, taking right to be the positive direction. The resultant force F is equal to zero because the bead is in equilibrium. Now the resultant force F horizontally will be T cos 30 minus T cos 60 minus two. So we have T cos 30 minus T cos 60 minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can factor out the t and take the minus 2 to the right hand side, make t the subject so we get t equal 2 over cos 30 minus cos 60. So we can put this into our calculator and if we do this we get 2 plus 2 root 3 newtons in exact form. Okay, now if we round to three significant figures, we get 5.46 newtons to three significant figures. Let's have a look at part B. Now, for part B, we want to find the mass of the bead. To find the mass of the bead, we have to resolve vertically. Okay, so here is part B. Resolve vertically, taking upwards to be the positive direction. The resultant force F vertically is equal to zero because the bead is in equilibrium. So what will that result in force F be? Well, it will be T sine 60 plus T sine 30 minus mg. So we have T sine 60 plus T sine 30 minus mg is equal to zero. Okay, so I want to find the mass. I can make M the subject. So if I do this, I get M equal T sine 60 plus T sine 30 divide by g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. g is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. Right, now over here we've got a common factor of t. We can take out the common factor. So we've got m equal t bracket sine 60 plus sine 30 all over g. We know what t is. Well, the exact value of t is 2 plus 2 root 3. We can substitute that t into this particular equation. So m is equal 2 plus 2 root 3, bracket, sine 60, plus sine 30, all over g, replace it with 9.8. Okay, so we can put this into our calculator, and if we do this, we get m equal 0.76 kg to three significant figures. 
So that there's my m value. Right, in part C, state how you have used the modeling assumption that the bead is smooth in your calculation. So we're assuming that there is no friction present between the bead and the string. So we have no friction between the bead and the string. Okay, so that there completes exam style question one. Here is exam style question two. A particle of mass 6 kg hangs in equilibrium suspended by two light and extensible strings inclined at 60 degrees and 45 degrees to the horizontal, as shown. Find the tension in each of the strings to two decimal places. I'm going to start by labelling all the forces acting on particle B. So we have the weight acting vertically downward, 6g. These two strings are different, hence the tension will be different in each string. We can call this tension T1 and this tension T2. For each of these tension forces, we can form component forces by constructing a right angle triangle. Here's my extension. Alternate angles are equal, so if this is 60, this is 60. If this is 45, this is 45. Drop a perpendicular. Form a right angle triangle, put in the arrows. These two are adjacent, so this one over here would be T1 cos 60 degrees. This one over here would be T2 cos 45 degrees. These two are opposites. So this one over here would be T1 sine 60 degrees, and this one over here would be T2 sine 45 degrees. Now to work out T1 and T2, I need to generate simultaneous equations. The particle B is in equilibrium, so the resultant force acting horizontally and vertically will equal a zero. So let's start off by resolving horizontally, taking right to be the positive direction. The resultant force F is equal to zero. We have T2 cos 45 degrees, minus t1 cos 60 degrees this has to equal zero now i can make t2 the subject so i've got t2 equal t1 cos 60 degrees divided by cos 45 degrees i can call this equation one resolving vertically taking upwards to be the positive direction resulting force f is equal zero so we have t1 sine 60 degrees plus T2 sine 45 degrees minus 6G is equal zero. Equation two. Substitute equation one into equation two. So if I do this, I get T1 sine 60 degrees plus my T2 is this fraction multiplied with sine 45 degrees minus 6g is equal 0. Okay, so we can clean this up. We've got T1 sine 60 degrees plus sine 45 divided by cos 45 is tan 45. So we've got T1 cos 60 degrees tan 45 degrees minus 6g is equal 0. So we've got a common factor between these two terms. We can take out T1. And so inside the bracket, we would have sine 60 degrees plus cos 60 degrees, tan 45 degrees. We can take the 6g to the right hand side. Okay, so T1 is equal 6g, divide by sine 60 degrees, plus cos 60 degrees, tan 45 degrees. Okay, so I can put this into my calculator, and if I do this, I get T1 equal 43.04 newtons to two decimal places. Okay, so now we can work out T2. We can substitute our T1 value back into equation 1 to work out T2. So if we do this, we get T2 is equal to 30.44 newtons to two decimal places. And that there, ladies and gents, completes the question. Sometimes in the exam, you'll get a question where there are two different strings. If you have two different strings, you need to realize that the tension in each string is different. So that there, ladies and gents, completes this teaching video. If you found this video useful, please tap the subscribe button, like, leave a comment, turn on the notification bell so you receive notification every time I upload a video.